officials are saying, look, there is the red card. I'm sorry you can't take part in the race. And the crowd reaction tells you what they make of that. That is such a shame. Abolish the false start rule, please. Sunday night in Eugene, it tripped up Julian Alfred and Tynia Gaither in the women's 100 meter semis and Devin Allen in the 110 hurdles final. None of them were cheating. All of them DQ'd over the sport's zero tolerance adherence to an arbitrary standard. To recap, in track and field, any reaction time faster than one tenth of a second is illegal based on the assumption that a human being can't possibly react that fast. Even though World Athletics' own studies concluded that reactions as fast as eight one hundredths of a second are possible. Yet here's Devin Allen, hometown favorite in his farewell race, third fastest hurdler ever, DQ'd because the computer said he reacted one one thousandth of a second too early. That is so marginal, it would have been impossible to determine with the naked eye. Imagine Major League Baseball deciding that nobody could pitch faster than 100 miles an hour without cheating, and that every time a pitcher hit 100.001 miles an hour, they would award a run to the opposing team. Sounds ridiculous, but that's the situation elite sprinters are in. They're good at their jobs partly because their central nervous systems aren't set up like regular people's. Their 5G Wi-Fi and the rest of you are dial-up modems. Messages get from their brains to their limbs in less than an instant. Now I can hear some of you hall monitors objecting now. Well, a rule is a rule, even if it's not fair. If you let them have a thousandth at the start line, they might still win at the finish line. Guys, save it. Use common sense, use discretion. If a person isn't trying to cheat, then you don't punish them. And if you're unsure, line them up again, restart the race. It's not that hard. This is sport and it's entertainment. Nobody tunes in to watch the race marshals marshal unless you're the kind of person who cheers for the bylaw officer shutting down some kid's lemonade stand. Then you think all this stuff is awesome. But the rest of us tune in to see the racers race, so change the rule and let them do what they do.